we're here at a working dairy farm to find out where milk comes from. We know the most milk we drink comes from cows. Did you know the average cow produces 15 gallons of milk a day? That's roughly 240 glasses. Wow, that's a lot of milk. Let's go check the farm out. My name is Jason Crittenden and I'm the operations manager here at Superstition Farm. At this facility there's about a thousand cows and the majority are going to be Holsteins, which is the most popular cow in the United States and Canada. The cow is actually not a type of animal, it's a mother. So a cow is actually just a pregnant female or has had a baby. And so yes, all cows can be milked. My name is Casey Steckney and I'm the owner of Superstition Farm here in Mesa, Arizona. You know, uh, many days I wish I was a cow. They get uh, great care. There's a whole group of people that are dedicated for their comfort and happiness because a happy, comfortable cow will make lots of milk. So they wake up in the morning, they have breakfast just like we do. They eat three times a day, they'll get a lunch and a dinner. They get milk three times a day. So every eight hours they're inside a barn being milked. Cows are big animals, they could weigh up to 1,500 pounds, so they have to eat a lot of food and drink a lot of water. In fact, a cow could probably drink about a bathtub of water a day, and they'll eat about 50 to 60 pounds of food in a single day. They eat a lot of different foods. There's actually a nutritionist with a PhD, a doctor of nutrition, that will come to the farm, and they will uh, make sure the cows are eating a healthy ration so that they are healthy and also making a great milk product for Arizona families. They could eat things like dry hay. There's also going to be a fresh cut alfalfa, we call a green chop, that they get fed every day. Cows are a lot different than people. We have one stomach. Uh, they've got a very specialized stomach with four compartments, and uh, that's what makes them great animals, that they can take food that we consider bad and turn it into the world's best beverage, which is milk. At Superstition Farm, they produce a lot of milk, and they use math to keep track of it. A single cow here on this farm can produce about eight gallons a day. 800 cows are milked here every day, so all the cows produce 6,500 gallons each day. And in a single month, that adds up to 195,000 gallons of milk. Cows live in, in the desert, which is unbelievable, and they need cooling for sure, just like we do. So what we do is we've provided shade for them. Uh, underneath those shade, there are eight large fans, and these fans blow mist out of them. And when you combine the mist with the fan, it'll atomize the air, cool it down, it'll actually drop the temperature over 20 degrees. In fact, when it's about 115 in the sunlight, it'll be approximately 90 under there, so it's much cooler. One thing that never lets up in production, cow poop. Cow poop, well, uh, other than us playing in it, kidding, uh, we recycle everything on the farm. So you call cow poop, I call it fertilizer, and we'll remove the fertilizer every day. Tractors will remove it, put it on dump trucks, We'll take it out to other farmers' fields and we'll, uh, we'll use it to grow some cotton for our t-shirts or corn for us to eat. So it all gets recycled. People don't associate technology with farms. We use uh, computers as the main part of the management of a modern dairy operation. The cows all have their own file, basically. And if you look at cows, you'll notice their ear tags. Those ear tags uh, have numbers on them and those are the cows' names. And so anytime something happens in a cow's life, We'll take her number and we'll put it into a computer program. Before, we'd keep track of all the cow's records on index cards. And as farms grew, the index card uh, file grew. And by having a computer, we could put the cows in a database and do all sorts of management that way. So now we use smartphones and palm pilots. And the entire cow, um, the entire dairy is on literally the palm of your hand. There are many, many, many varieties of work that you can do on a farm. And it's not just that farmer, because that farmer, he needs a nutritionist. He needs an accountant. He needs a banker. He needs a mechanic to work on his tractors. He'll need a veterinarian to help with the health aspects. If you're not a farmer, you can help one out. I had a great time at Superstition Farm today. I never realized how much went into caring for the cows and getting milk from them. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll try my hand at it.